Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nikopara. So, in the last episode, we tried to call Shigure and couldn't get a hold of her. And now it's the morning time because we went to sleep on the couch and our two cat girls slept on our bed. And now Shigure called and said this. <laughs> Intentions? I don't I don't think they agree with it. So I don't think you're gonna come get them. Hmm. Was what she told me when I was finally able to get in touch with her. Ah, Without any margin of negotiation space, I was struck down. Aw oh, man. But Shigure, even if you say that I don't think chocolate and vanilla will... Morning sweet nothings? What? Don't make it sound like it's a daily ritual or something. In any case... Is that an excuse? Aww. Ah, wait, Shigure! Oh, darn it. Seriously? She hung up on me. Dag nabbit. As the ruthless electronic buzz of the drop call echoed, I stared at my cell phone. And here I thought that I could sort all this out if I could just talk to Shigure. Well, you thought wrong. What's for breakfast? What is it? Is it cake? I used to eat cake for breakfast when I was a baby. Hmm. Delicious. Ketchup? Is it ketchup on toast? Oh. The cat girls in question were happily stuffing themselves with sandwiches. These sandwiches incidentally contain tomato, cheese, and lettuce. That's it? There's no there's no meat? Yeah. With an over easy fried egg tucked inside all of that, it was a simple meal. Huh, that actually sounds kinda yummy. Mmm. Breakfast was pretty much like this. You two are definitely going home today, okay? I never said that. It is fun though, we did play that hide and seek game tag thingy. Hmm. World class? Okay, I need to reconsider then. Wait, looking forward to what? Stop with the deliberately misleading words, you two. I sighed at their happy-go-lucky mindset. Aw. I took the opportunity to fill their empty glasses with milk. The eating habits of cat girls were pretty much the same as those of humans, so that part was straightforward. Huh. Of course, what they liked and disliked depended on each individual cat girl. So, kinda like humans. In the end, I wasn't able to get everything put away yesterday. Today, I really do have to start getting ready for the bakery's opening too. Ooh. That's why I don't have time to relax and play with you two. Be good girls and go home. I said that to them with a sandwich in my mouth. Oh, in my hand. 
がいたらご主人様は迷惑ですかなあ、ビーサンビッチ、ダウンアンプレート。And just like yesterday, she looked at me with upturned eyes. Yeah, it's a problem. I answered her clearly. Why is it a big problem? So, this is this one. Oh man, not, not sad music. That music always gets me. Her shoulders drooped more than before. The ears which sat atop her head drooped down heartedly, too. Aww. Unable to make fun of anything, Vanilla could only look on with concern. Aww. f e e l sad. Ah. <sighs> The pain from last night, a sharp chest pain, pricked at my heart again. I tilted the already cooled coffee cup. As my motions dulled, unimpeded by my judgment. Besides, what? Aww. Come on, Kasho. You let them stay. Her usually always perky ears were drooping. I can't really tell. Chakla was speaking clearly under her own volition. Aw, you're always by her side, Vanilla. You think? Vanilla's usually blank expression did not change. That's what it is. Blank expression. However, she showed me her strong determination. Aww. I don't remember Chocolate or Vanilla ever being this disobedient. But, I mean, I, mean, I, am, her ma I am their master, right? So. Maybe that's why they really want to stay with me. That thought stayed at the back of my mind. But if I was going to be swayed by that, then I wouldn't have said this. That. Understood? What? Hmm? What did I even say? Who could be at the door? Who's going ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding? Hmm. You're with Royal Wood. You're selling me wood tableware. Okay, cool. The tea set? Tea set? Is that the 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 tea set? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Tea set? How many boxes is there for a tea set? Uh, sure. She smiled brightly and brought out the invoice along with a pen. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's see here. I looked over the sales invoice I received once more. Hmm. Somehow, this doesn't look like what I ordered. Because, I mean, it should be just one box. There's lots of boxes, apparently. Yes. Oh, wait, hold on. Tea set for bakery. You need more than one tea set to more than one box. So, what's incorrect then? No, the stuff I ordered is in here too, but. I looked over at the pile of boxes inside the bakery. Inside of my tiny bakery was a mountain of boxes. A mountain! Mountain? Ooh. That wouldn't be good for business. 
It was as if the inside of the bakery had become completely made of boxes. That is definitely not good for business. As you can see, we don't need this much tableware inside the bakery. Oh, okay, thank you. No problem. Take your time. Not like I have a grand opening or anything. Oh no. Another order? Oh. Yeah, yes. Yes, I do. Don't worry about the other person's order. I got mixed in here. A Sepheus order. Hmm. Huh? From all this, the mountain of cardboard boxes towered over everything. Ooh, we can make a castle. Cardboard box castle. I was at a loss for words. Every box was of equal size. I wouldn't know what was inside each of them without opening them up. That's true. On top of that, looking at the sales invoice, I could see that they all contain expensive tea sets and tableware. Oh, so it's like extra stuff for our bakery here. And if I accepted it all, it would be a lot of work to deal with all the new items. Yeah. Um, there's still things that need doing in advance of my bakery's opening, so I don't mind accepting these. But it's going to take a while to deal with all of this. It sure will. Oh, that's so kind of you. Oh, um... Look, you don't need to put all this pressure on me. From the looks of it, it would take two hours or more. Oh my gosh, how many boxes are there? But to have it re-delivered would take double the effort, too. Hmm? Hello. What are you staring at? That's right! I have a lifeline! What? What, what lifeline? Oh, I see. A cat grows for our lifeline. They helped us with these boxes. Oh no, thank you. I think. Alrighty, bye bye. Ah, I'm exhausted. Woo! Took two hours. Advance at the table where we had finished organizing. Lowered myself into a chair and relaxed my shoulders. Oh, tea. Thanks, Chocola. Don't mind if I do. I downed the cold tea in one gulp. Somehow or another, the light meal tableware had arrived. Soon, I really had to get the bakery ready for its opening. Alright. I did say I needed any help I could find. <gasps> Does that mean... Chocolate and Vanilla will be staying? And I really did need help this time. They can stay and help. Hmm... I like how she's whispering that to me. I could sense the praise me aura coming from Chocola. I wonder how. She had a wide smile on her face and was in a ready stance to receive my approval. Thanks, I couldn't have done it without you two.
Yes, yes I am. Watch him in the shadows. What were you, like, what were you doing? Creeping? <laughs> yes, yes, you were. Hmm. <laughs> you might be right on that. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You're right. This is the predicament I'm in now. Hey, you two are getting a bit too close. They lean forward towards me for emphasis. It is true that without you two around, this would have been a real problem. A big problem. But that's a different issue than the one from before. You two have to go back home. Really, Kasho? Really? They helped us. What if... What if... What if they stay, Kasho? And the inside voice for Kasho. You guys didn't know that. Besides, not like I could ask you two to work for me or anything, okay? Hey, that's a good idea, see, Castro? They could work. They could help out. And we will find out in the next episode. Uh, what else they're gonna say? Man, I hate sad music. It always puts me in a sad, sad mood sometimes. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!